Games is bringing back the bot with an all-new free-to-play game based on the Mech Warrior franchise. So Russ, as the president of the studio, I'm guessing you had a little something to do with the decision to revive this franchise. Yes, this is one of those brands that goes right back to my childhood. And, you know, I think with Prana Games, we've been around for 12 years now, and this is one of those brands that I would look into probably every year just to see if it was available and if we could work with it. Of course, it never was, but one of those times came up just a few years ago. All the stars seemed to align for us, and so it just in the early 2011, we started to work on MechWarrior Online. As the creative director, what did you want to make sure was included in this game? Well, I wanted to make sure, because we're rebooting the series, that we brought the fidelity of the graphics and the overall design mechanics up to speed with modern gaming. A lot's changed in the last 10 years, and a lot's changed since 1986, when the first games came out. So it's really important for us and for our team and for myself that we, we modernize the game in a way that makes it relevant to today's gamers. There are a lot of changes and a lot of things that have never been seen in a Mech Warrior game before. What are those things? We have physics that we've never had before. Our animation systems are phenomenal with Cry Engine 3 that we're using. The HUD, we have 3D graphics. We're using NVIDIA's latest chipset to provide us with stereoscopic 3D. And we're focusing on really in-depth damage models. So we're able to blow off the limbs of our mechs and show high fidelity graphics in the destruction. We're able to show the mechs peel armor away, which was described in a detailed fashion in the novels. Something else that's new is you'll kind of be able to navigate the cockpit when you're the pilot of these mechs which feels really cool and something that hasn't been done before. So why did you want to make sure that was possible? We wanted to put the player in the position of the mech warrior. That was one of our pillars, is to separate the pilot from the mech and make the player feel like he's actually in the cockpit and he's piloting the mech. So that required us to amp up the fidelity and put lots of little knobs and doodads and actually make the screens functional. This is really important that the information displayed to the player actually was relevant. And that's new to Mech Warrior Online. There's obviously a lot of stuff to take in here, but to bring it back down to basics, why do you think gamers of any kind, not just fans of Mech Warrior, would enjoy playing this game? Well, it's about big giant robots beating the crap out of themselves, so it's a very rewarding and satisfying experience. We give the player a large overarching metagame which rewards them for good role play, fulfilling how they play their mechs properly on the battlefield, so I think it just caters to that action-oriented, player who just enjoys getting in, fighting, and getting something out of it. 